Okay, today we're going to take a look at um, just a nice little quick summary of solving equations. Um, I'm not necessarily going to work out a lot of the different equations, but I'm just going to touch on, you know, this is what the basic equation is and this is how you solve it, uh, primarily for students that would be in pre-calculus and just need a quick review of how to solve various equations. Mm, okay, so um, let's start out with um, a basic equation that you did a lot in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. Um, Let's suppose you had things like some distributive property and combining like terms on uh, maybe say the, both the left and the right side of the equation. So let's take a look at like 2 times the quantity 3x plus 4 equals 3 times the quantity of 5x plus 6 maybe plus 2x. All right, now like I said, I'm not going to actually take the time to work all of these out. I just want to refresh your memory on how to go about solving equations. Um, this type of equation right here would involve doing things like distributive property. So you would distribute any time that you see those. So let's list distributive property. Okay, you would also need to combine like terms. On this right-hand side, you would have some like terms you would need to combine. So you would use combining like terms as a skill to help solve this and then ultimately you would just need to um, move x to the left and all the numbers to the right. Alright, so basic equations like this in pre-calc then I expect you to be totally 100% um, efficient at solving any type of equations no matter how complicated it is looking like that. Um, now let's go back and take a look at maybe say a quadratic. So if I had something like a 4x squared um, plus 2x maybe say minus 10 equals 0. Okay, that is a quadratic equation. All right, there are options. You have lots of options to solve these. All right, so you could solve a quadratic equation by factoring, and of course that's always the one that you want to try first because if it factors, then that's going to be your quickest and easiest way to do it. If it does not factor, then you would want to try quadratic formula. All right, and just as a really quick review here of quadratic formula, that would be a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, your last option uh, would probably be completing the square. So again, three different options there for you to solve your quadratic equations. Um, let's... Um, take a look at maybe say an equation that is in factor form All right, to review what you would do in that scenario. If you had an equation that was like x minus 3 times maybe say x plus 7 times x minus 2. All right, this is an equation. Um, I can look at it real quickly. I know it's an x to the third, but it is in factored form. When you have an equation in factored form, uh, this will be short enough. I'll go ahead and finish it out. We can set each of those terms equal to zero and solve. Most of the time, um, as long as they're simple, you can do those really quickly in your head. x minus 2 equals zero. So then I would have an answer of x equals 3 and, or x equals negative 7 or x equals 2. Okay, so when an equation is in factored form, you just need to remember to set everything equal to zero. Um, another common uh, type of equation that we will run into in pre-calc might involve um, fractions. So um, let's call this one eliminating fractions. Let's rem show you how to eliminate some fractions. Um, okay, so maybe my equation might look like, say, I don't know, 6 over x plus... 2 equals 5. Okay, I've got that fraction in there, and I don't want it. I'm trying to solve for x. Uh, so I can multiply through by the least common denominator. In this case, the least common denominator would be x, so I could uh, distribute that x through that equation. All right, now what that's going to do is it's going to eliminate this fraction on the first time, first term, and then it'll distribute the x elsewhere. So x times 6 over x. The x's will cross out. It's going to give me a 6, eliminating that fraction, which is what I want. x times 2 is going to give me a 2x. And then x times 5 is going to give me a 5x. All right, from there, you could just go ahead, normal solving equations like we would have over here, combining like terms. Depending on how complicated this is, you might see distributive property. Um, I'll just go ahead and finish this one. Let's do a minus 2x from both sides of the equation. All right, so that's going to give me a 6 equals 
uh, 3x. I can divide both sides by 3. x equals 2. All right, but uh, putting this one in here so that you remember how to eliminate your fractions.